Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am, guess what I'm doing today? <laughs> I am actually coloring my hair and I have made a complete mess. You guys tell me, am I the only person who stains their body, like who stains their body all over not meaning to do that? I don't know. I make such a large mess when I'm coloring my hair. I use a bottle, by the way, to color my hair. I use a bottle when I do my own hair. When I do clients, I use a brush. And I am using today the Color Brilliance Ion. This is in the color 3NN, and I mixed it with a, you guys can see it, there you go. That is what I'm using today. The double N means that it has more pigmentation, so it will actually color gray. Yes, I have just like one or two grays, not. <laughs> I mixed it with a 2N because they did not have a two, uh, a two double N. And the double N means neutral, neutral. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys really quick how to get rid of all of this. Cause I know if you're like me <laughs> and if you, you know, sometimes you can go out and then you have these stains of black. Well, while the color is processing, what you want to do is you want to go grab just a basic shampoo, just, just a regular cleansing shampoo or dove soap, dove, uh, not dove. Sorry. I take that Dawn, Dawn, Dawn dishwashing soap. And what you're going to do is while it's like, you know, you're going to, while the color's processing, I still have like 20 more minutes of wearing this color. So what you do is you take, whoa, you take this soap and you put it all over. You do not dilute it. Anywhere that you actually have that color on your skin, you do not dilute it. This is a very, very old trick that us hairdressers use. I know I'm giving away all the tricks, so hopefully those new hairdressers out there don't chew me out like you did my last video. Okay, so we just have the soap here. You guys can see it. And I'm just going to be placing it on the skin where the color is. After I shower, I'm going to show you guys how my skin is not, is not like uh, stained. Now, I am doing the uh, suave on my face and my neck and my arms and everything. But like I said, typically I use for myself that dishwashing soap, Dawn dishwashing soap. And it actually, it's like foolproof. So I don't want a line. I want it to be shaped into my hairline. So I'm going to kind of just go like that, leaving the soap on my skin. And I will show you guys. Now you can, if you want, you can actually work the soap into a lather. Do not add any water. This will not work if you add water into it. I'm gonna shower in about 20 minutes, come back and show you guys uh, whether it stained my skin or not. But, I, but I've used this method for years. I hope you guys like this little tip. If you like me doing like these little hair tips, let me know in the comment section down below. I will see you in like 22 seconds, which is 20 minutes. From so I just wanted to turn on the camera really quick and show you guys. So when you bring it into a lather, remember not adding any water. Look how it's already removed the majority of stain on my skin, but you can still see these stains. Now let's see if they actually all come off. And here's another tip. When you're washing your hair, make sure that you keep your gloves on. Otherwise the color will get under your fingernails and stain your nails. So if you keep your gloves on, I know they're going to get full of water, especially if you're in the shower like me, but it won't stain your nails. And then you just rinse off the gloves and reuse okay, them. So I'm out of the shower and check it out. They can get really close up. You see how it didn't even stain right there. Nope. My neck was full and my arm was completely covered and I have no, no dye left on my skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip video on how to not stain your skin. If you guys enjoyed this, please let me know in the comment down below and please push that subscribe button. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.